Hey everybody, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com here to give you a grand tour of the fountain pen manufacturer Twisby, T-W-S-B-I. And that's how it's pronounced in case you didn't know. I'm gonna start out in this video by talking a little bit about what makes the brand unique and then do a walkthrough of every currently available Twisby model and all its accessories as of late 2022. Twisby is firmly established in the fountain pen community at this point, known for its piston filled pens, usually in some form of a demonstrator with an extremely reasonable price. Ever since they started producing their own line of pens, Twisby has been focusing on a few key areas across their product line. They want high build quality, good value for the price, clean design, writing enjoyment, and user serviceability. The build quality that Twisby is especially known for includes pens with excellent cap sealing, with inserts that keep the nib wet and ready to write at a moment's notice. They use high quality resins and have proprietary treatment methods for those resins on models like the 580 to get even more clarity and scratch resistance. The fit and finish of pretty much all the Twisby pens is way better than you would expect for something in this price range. Their entire regular range goes from $18.99 up to $80, with some stellar pens in the sub $50 pricing that gets them into the hands of many newer fountain pen users. Twisby streamlines their operation and their distribution, and they intentionally keep their margins lower so they can get their pens of high quality and high value into more users' hands. All of their regular pens use stainless steel nibs, with a wide range of nib sizes from extra fine up through stub for a lot of variety. And basically they're known as workhorse pens, ready for daily carry use, heavy writing for students, working professionals, and creatives. Every Twisby pen comes with a wrench and silicone grease, along with instructions for disassembly and reassembly, though, some videos definitely help and we've done plenty of those. This is actually pretty atypical with fountain pens today. And it was pretty trailblazing when Twisby first came on the scene, having these tools and basically instructing you how to take your pens apart. All right, so now let's do a grand tour of the different Twisby fountain pen models currently available in North America. I'm gonna skip over past limited editions and iterative variants that are no longer available as of 2022, as that can get pretty confusing and would make this video longer than it already is. So going from most affordable to most expensive, here are all of the Twisby models. Twisby Go. The Twisby Go is their most affordable pen and is meant to be a bang around everyday pocket pen. The look of this model diverges a bit from most of the other Twisby line because the resin is less translucent, kind of a cloudy look, and it's made of a slightly softer resin. But on the plus side, it's quite affordable and it makes for a good throw it in your bag pen. It has a unique spring-loaded push piston filling mechanism that can hold more ink than your average pen. And it's a snap cap with a roll stop. So there's no clip on this pen, which you may or may not love, but that's what it is. The cap pushes to post on the back of the pen and it's got a pretty firm hold. It uses Twisby's smallest number four size stainless steel nib in five different nib sizes, extra fine up through broad, plus that 1.1 millimeter stub. It's not specifically advertised as being a kid pen, but that's kind of what it comes across as based on its look and other similar styled pens from brands like you know Pelican with the Pelican Twists and things like that. So it's really not a wildly popular pen for us, but it's still a very solid performer. Twisby Swipe. The Twisby Swipe is Twisby's newest model and it's their only cartridge converter pen. It can actually use three different filling mechanisms that they designed themselves. An oversized standard international cartridge, a twist converter like you see in many other pen brands, and a spring-loaded push piston converter similar in function to what you find on the go. The Swipe can take regular standard international short cartridges, but Twisby made their own oversized cartridges which will pretty much only fit on the Swipe, not other standard international pens. The Swipe uses Twisby's number four nib, just like the Go, in the same five nib sizes. You get a snap cap that pushes to post, and while it has a clip, it's basically just for show. It's super tight and it really just acts more like a roll stop. I think this is another great pen for beginners or maybe to gift to someone who likes to tinker as they get so many different filling mechanisms to kind of play around with and try out. Twisby Eco and Eco T. So the Eco is Twisby's most popular pen model by volume, at least in terms of what we sell here at Goulet Pens. There have been a multitude of different special edition versions, but they all feature a 
crystal clear round barrel with a high ink capacity of around 1.76 milliliters thanks to the internal piston mechanism. It has a threaded cap pushed to post with an O-ring for a good posting fit. There's also an O-ring at the back of the grip section to help seal the cap when it's closed, making it one of the best pens made today in terms of cap sealing. It uses the same number four size nib as the Go and the Swipe in all five nib sizes. And while Twisby doesn't offer any of these nibs separately, you can technically swap them between each other on any of these models we've talked about so far by pulling out the nib and the feed together just be careful because the fins on the feed are kind of fragile and they can break, so do it at your own risk. Now, what I like most about the Eco and other models with the internal piston is that they provide you instructions in the tool to remove the piston mechanism. We've made other videos here showing how to remove and reassemble these as it is helpful to see it done on video, but hey, it's cool that Twisby's designed their own pens with this feature in mind. You don't see that all the time. It's especially great for pens like these that are demonstrators because when you have a stubborn ink you're trying to clean out or like a shimmering ink or something like that, it makes it easier when you can take it apart. They do include some silicone grease too if you want to keep your piston seal moving smoothly inside the barrel. You don't need to do this all that often, but it's nice to have it on hand when it feels like maybe it's lost some of its smooth action over time. Now there's a variation of this model called the Eco T, which Twisby has regularly in clear, but does other colors as special editions. The Eco T is pretty similar to the Eco. There are really just two differences in that the cap is more triangular instead of hexagonal, and the grip is more of a true round shape and it has very little triangularity like the Eco does. It's not really worth fussing over the differences, honestly. You're getting a great pen either way, they're the same price, and you should basically just pick whichever one looks better to you. It's a very solid pen for pretty much anyone new or established in the hobby, and you're gonna find a lot of people with Ecos in their collections. Twisby Classic. The Classic is one of the few non-demonstrators that Twisby makes, so it does stick out a little bit. It has an internal piston and an ink window, so you can still monitor your ink level, which is nice. It has a threaded cap and you push to post and it's got an O-ring on it. So, you know, you're posting it on the end just like the Eco and you just kind of push it on. It has the same number four size nib as all the previous models that I've just mentioned in four different nib sizes. I think the Classic looks a little more professional maybe, thus, you know, read into that as like a little more corporate, maybe a little more boring. So it doesn't get a lot of attention in the Twisby lineup. It's a decent pen, but it just doesn't quite stand out, you know, as much as the other Twisby models do. The Twisby Diamond 580 AL and ALR. All right, so now we're into the heart of the brand here. Twisby's flagship pen, I would call the Diamond 580. And the 580 all ALR and the Mini, honestly. The 580 is an iteration of the 530 and 540 that Twisby released as their first pen design. So it's been improved over the years. The diamond facets on the barrel and the cap are iconic to the brand and make the pen look more expensive than it is, in my opinion. The body has an internal piston mechanism and it holds almost two milliliters of ink, which is massive. And it's removable with the eight millimeter wrench that's included, similar to the Eco, but it's got a nicer wrench and you also get some silicone grease along with it. Much like the Eco, the 580s had many special editions over the years, so it's worth keeping tabs on the brand to see what they come out with from time to time. The 580 nib size increases a little bit to the number five size, larger than all the previous models that I've mentioned so far in this video. And the writing experience is still similar to the smaller nibs though. It's pretty smooth, nice flow. Twisby has some very solid consistency on their nibs. And what's special about the 580 in particular though, is that the nib unit and the grip section are designed to be removable. So you can unscrew them both for ease of maintenance, you can swap them on other 580s, or you can actually purchase nib units in other sizes if you want just one pen, but you want a wider range of nib options. Twisby doesn't have this for any of the models that I've mentioned so far, but it is an option starting out on the 580. The cap is threaded and while it's technically postable, Twisby doesn't officially recommend doing so. It's honestly pretty long when it's posted anyway, but the main issue is that when it's posted, the cap is only grabbing onto the piston filler knob. So it could in theory, unscrew the knob in use and push ink out of the pen. So it's not something I hear about happening a lot, but it could. So use your own judgment, it's your pen. Now there are two variants of the 580 called the 580 AL and the 580 ALR that are worth mentioning here. The overall dimensions, the nibs, and the ink capacity are all the same as a 580, but think of it as a different like trim package that you would get with these. So it's a little bit of a bump in price, but you get uh, an aluminum grip instead of a resin grip, and aluminum piston rod and piston housing. 
Now on the ALR, you get these aluminum components like you do on the AL, plus some other aluminum parts like the trim rings along the piston knob, the cap finial, and the center band. And the grip itself is engraved with subtle rings around the circumference of the grip, which give it a bit of texture. It's gonna be personal preference for sure whether you like that texture or not, but that's definitely a distinct characteristic of the ALR. So while the 580 disassembles similar to the Eco, it's worth mentioning that the disassembly on the AL and the ALR versions, although mechanically is the same, when you take out that piston rod, it's got a white bearing grease on it that's different than what's used on the non-aluminum versions. And the silicone grease that comes with those pens, that's not the same grease that you wanna use on the aluminum rods. When you need to grease those aluminum rods, which is not gonna be that often, um, use a white lithium grease or a bearing grease. You can get that at most you know, mechanic shops or, or home supply centers. Uh, that's the kind of grease that you wanna use, but honestly, you really don't have to do it that often. The 580 and all of its variants has become iconic in the pen world for a reason. It's an incredible pen and I can absolutely recommend it to pretty much anybody. The Twisby Mini and the Mini AL. Now, since the 580 starts to get up there in size a little bit, Twisby's developed the Mini, which is quite simply a smaller version of the 580, a miniature version. The overall aesthetic is similar, but it's much smaller in the hand and it makes for a really great pocket pen. You end up going back down to the smaller number four size nib, but that's fine, it writes well, though you do get the added bonus of nib swappability with the available spare nibs, which is nice. You lose almost half the ink capacity on the mini version versus the full size 580, but you're still getting over one milliliter of ink, which is about double what you get with a typical cartridge converter pen. So it's still quite adequate. It has a threaded cap and this pen is actually made to post and brings about a feature that I haven't yet talked about on a Twisby pen, a screw thread on the back end of the pen for posting. It means that you can secure the cap on the threading on the back of the pen, which is great security when you're writing. The O-ring at the threads on the back there helps keep the cap from unthreading as well when it's posted. Now there's a mini AL version as well, <laughs> which has a similar aluminum grip and piston components like you see on the full size 580 AL, um, but it's on the mini, ver mini version and it's at a slight premium just like it would be on the full size. The VAC 700R and VAC Mini. Now we're moving on to what I think is the coolest and best value pens in Twisby's whole lineup. Vacuum filling pens are not all that common among pen brands today in general, especially at the price that Twisby sells them. They boast large ink capacities and self-sealing ink chambers that prevent leaks during transport. You fill them up by pumping the piston up and down, which uses vacuum suction to draw ink up into the body of the pen. And when writing with them for more than a page or so, you'll wanna unscrew the filler knob on the back to break the seal slightly so that the ink can reach the feed and flow freely. But if you're just writing a little bit, you don't have to do that every time. Twisby makes two vacuum filling pen models. The VAC 700R is the larger of Twisby's two vacuum filling pens, and it has the largest ink capacity of Twisby's entire line and just about any pen in the whole pen world at around 2.3 milliliters. This pen's gonna use Twisby's largest nib, the number six size stainless steel nib, ranging from extra fine through a 1.1 millimeter stub. You get the same functionality of the removable nib grip unit on the VAC pens and you can even get spare nib units for these ones as well. The cap is threaded and not really recommended for posting as it tends to get pretty long, but it's still doable. You get all the same cap sealing features like you do with the 580, which is really nice with such a massive ink capacity pen. Now they've done a few colors in the VAC 700s over the years, but currently they're only in clear regularly with a special version called Iris, which has a rainbow trim, which I think is really pretty rad looking. They're fairly large pens, so perhaps not everyone's flavor, which is why they followed up with the next pen, the Compact VAC Mini. Now the VAC Mini functions similarly to the VAC 700R, but is designed as more of a pocket pen in a similar manner as the 580 and the 580 Mini have a relationship to each other. You get the same thing with this VAC version. The general vacuum filling principle is the same on the VAC Mini as the VAC 700R. It's just smaller all around and still nearly boasts about two milliliter ink capacity, which you just won't beat on any pocket size pen. Like the 580 Mini, the VAC Mini has Twisby's smaller number four stainless steel nib 
and you can remove it and get spare nib units, which can be quite handy. This is honestly one of my favorite pocket pens for its compact size, self-sealing ink chamber, and super high ink capacity for a pen of its size, especially. Twisby Precision. So I'm gonna finish off the list with the other rare instance of an opaque Twisby pen, the Precision. This is the only available model in Twisby's lineup that deviates from resin, and it's gonna be in a brushed aluminum. The hexagonal body looks crisp, and the ink window is a nice touch, so you can still monitor your ink level. It uses a number five size nib in five different nib sizes, but it does not have spare nib sizes available for it. Okay. It just comes in one smoky gray color, which I think actually looks pretty great. It has a threaded cap and pushes to post on the back, just like the Classic and the Eco. A Precision's a really nice looking pen and it has great build quality. It's on the newer end of their offerings, so I think it's still not on most people's radar, but it's worth a look if you want a deviation from the typically clear bodied Twisby pens. Twisby Ink. Twisby also released their own line of ink as of late 2021. True to Twisby's form, their packaging and presentation looks phenomenal. They launched with six colors of larger 70 milliliter bottles in some pretty standard colors and have since expanded with some 18 milliliter bottles in more vibrant colors. They don't have any wild properties or anything, but they're very well behaved, easy to clean fountain pen inks in a variety of colors. They have some ink cartridges too, which are technically standard international because the opening fits standard international pens, but it's that oversized one made to fit the swipe. So really it's probably not gonna fit most of your other cartridge pens, but they're massive and they work great on the swipe. Twisby accessories. Twisby's also developed some pretty interesting accessories over the years, mostly ones designed to make their pens even more functional. But there's others that you can use with some non-Twisby pens too. The Diamond 50 Inkwell. So this inkwell has been around since pretty close to Twisby's beginning, and it's the only regularly offered empty glass inkwell sold by a modern fountain pen company that I know of. It looks really cool, and it can just house your ink and fill normally like any bottle with any pen. But what really makes it unique though, is that you can take the grip of certain Twisby pens and fit it onto the top and fill it through a tube without having to open the bottle itself, getting the pen or your hands inky. You can even fill certain pen converters through it too, which is also pretty cool. The VAC-20A inkwell. This is a simplified version of the Diamond 50 inkwell made of plastic. It can also be open and filled with any pen, but the cap on this inkwell is particularly designed to fit the VAC-700R and VAC-mini. Just remove the grips, attach the pens to the inkwell, and fill away. It's great for traveling or just getting a full filling on your VAC Twisby pens. Twisby pipe. This is a weird, cool little device that's designed to attach to your standard international converters or your 580 style pen bodies so that you can slurp up ink through a straw when you're filling it. It's good for keeping your pen parts out of the ink and getting those last sacred drops of ink from a bottle when the level's too low to fill like normal. So there you go a grand tour of Twisby. They're innovating all the time, so surely they'll come out with some new things after this video is published, but that's what's great about them as a brand. They're never resting on their laurels. So which Twisbys catch your eye? Let me know what you think in the comments and check out all our available pens at gulepens.com. Thanks so much for watching and right on.